I learned C sharp in two weeks. Okay, but why? Well, if you watched my previous videos, you've probably seen that I recently got a new PC and a new VR headset for my birthday because I wanted to learn how to code VR games and how to make 3D games in Unity. Because while I've been learning Godot, I more so used Godot as a practice to learn how to make actual games because I really wanted to learn how to make VR and 3D games. And so the first step to that was learning a new game engine. For this, I wanted to learn Unity because it is the most advanced in VR and because it's also great for 3D game development. And Unity uses C Sharp, so I decided I should learn C Sharp. I wondered what way I could learn C Sharp. The first, of course, was YouTube, but it's not always the best way. It's kind of unorganized, and it's a lot of searching around trying to figure out what you want. The next way was Udemy, but I've already done that before. So I decided why not try something new? And the first thing I thought of was Code Academy, and it sounded incredibly interesting. I've seen that you can code inside the website, and there's plenty of courses, free or paid. And so, I got a plus subscription and started trying out Code Academy. Starting out, it was of course the basics, and I quickly realized it was a lot like Godot. Godot is kind of its own mix of Python and maybe C Sharp, because it was a lot like that. I realized a lot of these concepts were a whole lot like Godot, and so continuing through, I realized that it was incredibly easy. I also realized that with Code Academy, there is no video tutorials at all. For the most part, it's just reading. And sometimes they add video tutorials for the projects, but if you were just doing lessons, there would be no tutorials at all to help you. For fun, I decided to compare learning in Code Academy to learning on YouTube again. And I found out pretty quickly two neat things. One was that in Visual Studio Code, you don't get everything already set up for you. Code Academy already gives you things like using system. That way you can just jump in and start coding. But in Visual Studio Code, you do have to do the initial setup. The next thing I realized was that Code Academy's way of just giving you the instructions and then telling you to complete these instructions without immediately showing you like on a YouTube video actually helped me to, with my problem solving, which was incredibly useful. And so when I started doing that project on YouTube, I quickly realized that I could just visualize in my head how to make this project without the tutorial. And I did. After that, I continued with Code Academy, and I realized that with projects, they were, for one, incredibly fun and useful, and kind of more real-world application projects, things that you could really see yourself using once you're finished with the course. But one thing that was really interesting was that C Sharp's Code Academy courses didn't exactly give you an answer. You had to come up with a completely original way to make the project, which was incredibly useful for creativity. But if you did get stuck, it was a little bit hard, because some of them had videos, but some of them didn't. And I guess you could say that this is sometimes good because it does help you to figure it out yourself or maybe figure out how to Google an answer to your problem. But at some points, it was kind of hard. Near the end of the course, where you started to do with things like abstraction, encapsulation, and classes, I once again found that this was extremely similar to Godot. I came in thinking that this was going to be extremely hard to do, but it was the same stuff that I made in a few games just about a month ago. And so it was still pretty easy, but still also kind of confusing, because Code Academy came up with it in a very complicated way of explaining these concepts. And so it was quite confusing going from one concept to another, and they would kind of mix the two together. But I soldiered through it, and soon I was almost done with Code Academy. After a few more lessons and one final project, I was finally done with Code Academy. And my final thoughts are, it's pretty great! While I do prefer video tutorials showing you and walking you through the project, Code Academy's way of just giving you instructions and telling you to go figure out an answer was honestly great for problem solving, which is essential in coding. And so, if you want to learn a new coding language, I would definitely recommend Code Academy to you. That way you can learn a new language and learn problem solving skills while doing it. They have tons of free courses and you can even get even more and certifications for only like $14. Well, now I'm going to go learn Unity, and maybe even a new way to learn game development, too! See you next time!